Thank you again for the invitation to, to be here today. Um, I cut off the phone from, uh, from Dear John Monday going, what, what if I talk myself into it? Or what if I try to, to talk myself out of it? I suppose when I um, look at the question, how to introduce the concept as, com as complex as development to student teachers, there's a couple of things that, 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 uh, that, that stick out to me. First of all, I was asked with the NGO perspective. I had to create and walk up down the corridor and talk about a couple of times about what exactly is an NGO perspective. I can only give my own perspective and my own perspective as, a, as, an, as an educator. I'm not a researcher, I'm not an academic, um, and, and I guess that's to preamble and almost apologise for what I'm about to say. So, when you look at the question, um, how to introduce the concept as complex as development to student teachers, there's two things that stick out for me there is the words student teachers. And, and another, one of the things that struck me about um, Deirdre's presentation earlier on was you know, the, the, the slide she had put up about looking at how we're going to integrate development education across the, the, uh, the curriculum and the, the um, experience, the education experience of initial teachers in, in UL. And I just kind of went, <sighs> like, you know, how could you possibly do that in terms of looking at the list of things that they have to do the list of things that are, are required by this body and that body and the other body and, and, and all of that. And so I guess to answer the question, we must remember who it's aimed at and it's in, aiming, in, in being aimed at the student teachers, we must try and meet them where they're at. And where they're at is busier than ever before. And, and I guess everybody in the room can, can attest to that, I suppose. But in, in efforts to, to meet teachers where they're at, we must be, be conscious of their business and be conscious of, of the, the kind of prerequisites of, of academic endeavour, it's important to embed across the curriculum. And in terms of the NGO perspective and our own perspective in the Development Education Unit in Trocra, that would be our approach in our working with the educational partners, especially Matthew Day, who I'm not represented today, unfortunately, and some of the other, um, obviously some of our other colleagues from different um, institutions here too who can attest to that. The second part of this particular question that was uh, interesting to me was the word as concept as development. Complex and complex, con concept as complex as development. Do we need our development educators to be development experts? And I guess that's, that's the question. Is development education what we're about or is it development studies? And so if it's development studies, yes, we need expertise, we need, you know, you need masters, you need all, all of those things. This development education is about the tools, the methodologies, the pedagogy, the knowledge to where the research is, the ability to go and find it, the, and the ability to be able to facilitate a group of students on their approach to, to, uh, to learning and, and in embedding this learning um, across their academic experience in, in post-primary education in Ireland. I guess there's a few things to consider, um, you know, following some of the com comments from, from our colleagues there. And I guess we would we'll probably leave that to the panel question as well. What I would say is, in terms of you know, issues as complex as development, the MDGs provided a framework for us to embed or for us to kind of approach it, at least to give us some place to start. What's going to happen in the post MDG scenario is quite interesting to me, and I'm very interested to hear what um, is, is coming up in terms of the conference later on. What I would say you know, is, a, is a serious consideration in this particular question. It's not necessarily the question it asks, but the question it doesn't ask. It's how do we perpetuate development education after their student teachers? How do we support development education in schools beyond their initial teacher experience in UL? And how does that you know, permeate throughout their academic life and, and, I, and their, their professional career? And I speak particularly to some of the um, professionals that, that I work with in terms of schools that are present here today as well. I would guess from a troper perspective, though sometimes we're criticised for it, it's for, it, it, it will be with our consistent, um, consistent resources, but also through technology. And looking at technology as a tool to move things forward. Um, and I would say a particular example of that is the new network that we've evolved with through Yammer, and I see the, our colleague there as well, who kind of perpetuated that as well. That we need to put in, in base stages throughout the students and, and the professional teachers' I, I, professional experience where they can look at where they're at and where they're going in terms of development education and support that beyond their experience in initial teacher education. Because initial teacher edu education is a crowded space, you can all agree with that. It's a, a very pinnacle space and a very important space, but it is a crowded space. 
And so when, when teachers have the capacity and maybe the professional confidence beyond those initial couple of years, how do we support that? Now I've spoken well before uh, less than eight minutes, but I'm, I guess I'm more interested in the conversation that's going to emerge as a result of some of my comments. So thank you very much.